Okay, guys. So, in this video, we're going to try and take this diff out. I don't know where I left off on the last video, but uh, I could not get this cup out no matter what. I mean, I even used this thing like a slide hammer, got all the grease out of it, and pulled it and pulled I mean, I sat here on my butt and pulled it and tried to get it out. It would not come out. Now, in some other models inside here, there's a little uh, detent button that you can push in that collapses the ring. But this one doesn't have it. So we're going to try and get this diff out of here if we can. Uh, first thing you got to do is take off this box. I've already kind of loosened some of this stuff up. Uh, there's a screw here. There's a screw down here. And then behind it, I'll go ahead and slide it off because I've already pulled it off. Behind it, there's a screw right here too next to this plunger. So go ahead and get that off. Uh, this here comes off. It's got two screws top and bottom as you can see It's got a little cable slide that goes in here You just move it sideways and push it down because it's slotted on this side right here So the cable just pushes out and then you just got like a little connector right here a little bullet connector so Got that out. I went ahead and took the tie rods off so I can get this out of the way because Hopefully, what I'm hoping to do is be able to turn the diff this way out there and get this cup out like this. I think there's only two bolts holding this diff in. Hopefully, that's it here and here. So, I'm going to go ahead and get you set up on the tripod here and uh, we'll get after it. Okay. Get these bolts busted off here. Hopefully my uh, stool that I'm rolling around with doesn't lose a wheel. One of the wheels is stripped out of it and I kind of put it back together. Alright, let's start with this one here. Get it busted off from the side. Let me get it on there. Gun will bust the rest of it off. Sorry, should have said loud noises. Yeah, that one came off. Got a washer here. Go ahead and get that back on a little bit. Grab a hammer. It's not real rusted, so that's good. Slap that washer back on there. Get my caliper. Just let it hang. It's not too heavy, and this is steel braided line, so it should be all right. And by the way, this is 13 millimeter on this side, and 17 mil on this side. So. Well, it's 
so a gun just, just almost didn't do it. That's not in that washer. Turn it off. Slide this guy out. And it's not too rusted either. So that's that's good news. Alright. Let's see about lifting it now. It's kinda this thing, this yoke should slide off. Should slide out of there so hopefully uh I'll just do that real quick Let's see if I can get uh see if I can get this bellows off of here. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. Just a little retaining clip. Bellow should just slide right off. This is to keep water out of your diff. A lot of newer bikes just have vent lines. But yeah, it saves the same purpose just so it just so it fills up full of air, you know, so it's got somewhere to go. Some of so if it's over full or something, it can squirt up in there. So let's see if we can get this sucker lifted out of here. Interesting for sure. Let me get a pry bar. Right, just get a little guy here. Something so we can manipulate it with. previous video on another bike I had to take that U-joint out. I really don't want to do that because it is a nightmare. Are y'all just looking at my leg there? Let's see. Man, maybe if I... That's a problem. I got this cup in here, so I can't really, can't really turn it. Ears, yeah, that's not gonna work. Well, shoot, this is not uh, <laughs> this is not going as easy as I wanted it to. Does it ever? I mean, that should just pop right out of there. Does this one slide in the other one? All right, let me try to get this out. I'm gonna just guys sit here, watch me for 30 minutes trying to get this thing out. Uh, if I do get it out, I'll let you know what I did. If not, we're going to have to take that U joint. Fun time. Okay, so I did it. So what you got to do is there's a couple of band clamps on here you got to get off of. And then it'll slide. The distance in here is shorter than the distance there. So it'll slide further back in there. Pops right out. And then you just pull your shaft out. So, let's see if we can't get this diff out of here. Man, that took a minute though. 
At least I don't have to take that U joint out. At least I don't think I do. Yeah, it's not, they're not in the best of condition, but she's got some miles left on her. Alright. Now, let's see if we can turn this guy. That's why I took off those. Oh man, I might take that whole steering column out probably. That's why I took off those tie rods though. Let's see, can we get it? I might get it stuck and not be able to move it. Alright, let's see, can we get it rotated? Yeah. We're also dealing with this thing back here. Yeah, my lawn guys are here, so they go on noise. Let's see. Can we get it over the hump? That's very difficult to do with one, one person. You know what? I'm just gonna pull that steering shaft. See if I can't just lift it up. Now let's see, I tied it down, so moved it out of the way. So, and of course me being as intelligent as I am, I did not drain the diff fluid out of this thing. So I'm just dumping diff fluid everywhere. Come on, baby. See? Oh no. Stuck on that steering shaft. Yeah, I'm excited. Well, at least there's dead fluid in it, huh? There it is, it's just hung up on that steering chair. Oh, no. Be just a hair, it's like everything else. Come on, baby. I mean, see, maybe if I spin it the other way. Turn it upside down. Oh, we did it. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right, let me get this set up on the table. We'll get to scraping. Well, I'm going to scrape a bunch of this stuff off, and then we'll get you set up, and we'll get to cracking this different part. Take a look at it. Okay. I got it a little clean. Cleaner than what it was. Uh, if you guys hadn't used this stuff, I don't buy degreaser anymore for automotive stuff. This stuff works incredible. I mean, it really is. All right, we're gonna pop this end cap off now. It's gonna be some loud noises, so. Three skewers here. One, I'm holding the bracket. That's a long one. That one's equally as long. These are T40, by the way. Get that bracket off. I had to get another piece of cardboard because mine was a mess. You know what I need? I need, let me get a, uh, I want to get a jar. I'm going to put some of that in it so I can soak these bolts in it. Just give me a second. Okay, let's get to cracking into this diff. Probably going to need a dead blow for a minute. I should have bought a gasket kit. I bought, uh, where are my hammers? I bought a, uh, seal kit, but I didn't even think to buy a gasket kit. Feels good. Get all this cleaned up. I'm gonna try and save on these seals, I guess. 
don't know. I'll see how. We'll see. See uh, how long it takes to get me a seal kit for this. Then pull this out. This is, I believe, your four wheel drive lock. Because that's the pin that pushes in. So I'm going to put that in my jaw. A little retaining clip on there, but we don't need to take it off. Then get that in there. Get it swooshed. Okay. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna go ahead and crack this little eight millimeter. I've already taken this loose. that off and get them sucking. That's a 17 millimeter I believe is what it was. Yeah. So your fill plug 17 millimeter. That off of there. Get it in there. Get it by grazing. Let's see. Careful, you don't want to break this off. This is your vent hose and it's plastic, so be careful. So your drain is also eight millimeter. Get that off. And that's on the bottom of the diff here, obviously. I think all the diff fluid's out of this. I guess we're fixing to find out, I don't know. Probably not. Out here. That's some sludge. I don't see anything shiny. Hopefully that's a good sign. <clears throat> this thing did seem to lock into four wheel drive, but you know, without really testing it, the actuator's bad. I'm going a lot deeper into this bike than I wanted to. But you know, I get to learn on the way, so. All right, loud noises. bolted down. Lord almighty. There we go. Okay. She's broke free. She's broke free. Same length. 
I got them all out. I did have to put it in the vise on the, uh, here. But man, it's like, I don't know what that is. Corrosion, I guess? I don't know. They're like silicone. I'm going to get them degrease in there. Let's see if we can't pop this sucker apart. Something tells me that this is <clears throat> going to be a nightmare because it's probably been together since it's been since 2005. This is holding it together somehow, which wouldn't surprise me. I don't think so, though. Let me do a little, let me go look at an exploded diagram because I don't want to break anything. Okay, I think it'll come apart. Uh, I did whack on it with a screwdriver. Very gently though, I just really don't want to break. And it did start to split. So, just tap it around. The last thing you want to do is get your screwdriver there and screw up the mating surface. But it does seem to be moving fairly simply. glad because man what a nightmare that'd be huh I mean how would I ever how would I ever <laughs> I mean I don't want to buy me this I'm not going to buy me this so I'll start selling this thing for parts that spring so I even noticed that in the pictures there's a spring that goes on this shaft right here so with the greaser and not lose it hopefully I didn't lose anything else while I wasn't paying attention come on baby all I'm trying to do is help you survive a few more years. Take a little gratitude to be in order, huh? Man, it does not want to. It does not want to. I do it on one end, it closes on the other. Let's do this. Stuff some rag in there. Well, nothing gonna be easy on this thing over there. Maybe this rag. I keep a little pressure on it. Let 
fight with this too. <laughs> for, for about an hour. See if I can't get it off. I'll start when I get back. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We got it. It took a lot of doing, but we got it. So what I did is I was poking these little dental pokes down in there trying to get the the clip, the circlip to uh, compress and I couldn't, I kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it. Finally, I cut the ends off of them and then I hammered them down in there. And that's just in between the splines and the other splines. Took my little screwdriver, pop, pop, finally, finally, it just fell out. So, that little circ clip there, amazing. I mean, it's not rusted or anything. And you can see all the beating I was doing on it with the screwdriver, trying to get it to come out. Finally, got enough of those wedged in there. See, that's what it did. Went right in between there and pushed that pin in. And I did that in three spots and boom, popped it right out. Man, what a nightmare. All just to clean up this diff and check it out. Well, let me get that out of here. But holy cow. So anyway, let me get the diff back apart and let's start to disassemble it. The bearings seem to be pretty good, so I'm not really worried about that. I just wanted to check it to make sure... Uh, you know, all the internals are okay. So, uh, let's just go ahead and pop this apart real quick. It should come apart fairly easy now. Man, what a nightmare. Persistent. I mean, <laughs> I even built a slide hammer and put a trailer hitch big heavy trailer hitch on it, pow, pow, to no avail, man, I mean, wow, what, what a nightmare, there we go, Hang off that seal there, my goodness, there's a spring there. All right, let's, uh, let me get my jar. My jar full of degreaser. Start throwing all this stuff back in here. Man, I was trying everything. Spring, okay, it goes there. This should just come apart like that. I don't really see a top to bottom to that. You can get a little more, uh, a little more degreaser in there. Man, I tell you what, I was at my wits end with that thing. This ring should just pop out. I thought this just popped out. Probably not. This thing's probably going to fight me the whole way. There's the gasket. The gasket's just a little rubber seal there. Man, oh man, oh man. This should just pop out. Bands are okay. At this point, I really don't need to take it out. It's not like I can take this pin out. But this pinion's not, that's just back and forth. It's not loose. Man, I really would like to get it cleaned out in there, though. Right, let me see why I can't just, that should just pop out. Let me see why I can't get that out. Man, what a nightmare. Okay. So I think the seal just comes out, and that's all that's holding it in. I really don't want to tear the seal up. I wish there was 
somewhere to get get leverage on it. So I really don't want to tear that seal up. But I do want to get this cleaned out. There's all kinds of grime in it, as you can imagine. said that already? I does not want to just easily pop out. <laughs> this thing's been together forever. Yeah, I really don't want to tear that thing up, man. Alright, let me do some thought on this again. Okay. So I just took a socket, put it in here. Yeah, those bearings feel great. Put it in here, pop, pop, and popped her on out of there. And as you can see, that seal goes all the way around there. That's why I really didn't want to tear it up. Oh, don't lose that washer. So there's a washer that goes behind it. But that just separates from this piece, which will get cleaned up. So I guess that's what I'm going to do now is go ahead and clean this differential all up. Uh, let's see, does this have a top and a bottom? Yeah, so this nipply piece points up. So I'm going to get this... Oh, that is... Unbalanced is crazy, but that bearing is excellent. So let me uh, get some clean towels. Get this all cleaned back up, and then I'm just going to reassemble it. Oops, I'm not going to take the thing out of the other ring wants to come off. Get it reassembled, and uh, I guess, I don't know what we'll do from there. I guess I'll have to start cleaning up parts. I don't know if y'all want to watch that process, but I'll go ahead and show the reassembly process after I've got it all cleaned up. I'm not taking the pinion out. The pinion needs a special nut. There's nothing wrong with it. It's got no wobble back and forth. So it should be good to go. So I'm going to get all this cleaned up real good. And we'll put it back together. Give me a fresh piece of cardboard. Or probably a towel since it'll all be clean. Until then. Okay. So literally the next week. Uh, work's been really, really busy. Uh, has that been sitting here? It's kind of warm. Whatever, it's water. So we're going to go ahead and pop these diff seals out. Uh, hopefully. There we go, there's one. I did get the diff all cleaned up. I don't know if I said that yet. And hopefully the diff seals we have are the right size. That sucker's in there, huh? It's like everything else on this dip. Well, it's scary. It's a little scary. Square it. 
bench there. And of course I just put my hammer up because I didn't think I was going to need it. Yeah, she's been in there a while. We should have one more. I think it's this one right here. Well, man. Of course, that bearing's pressed in there. You know what? Let's bolt it to this. Let me get that done real quick and uh, I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna take some Scotch Bright, clean that up to it. Okay, I just popped a couple of bolts in it. Take it pop right out. You gotta get a swift motion with it, it's scary with your hand on the way because you don't want, you know, something that small, you don't want to gouge your hand up. Lord knows, I've done that a few times. Yeah, let's get a piece of scotch bright. Get a little looby doob. Shoot the old WD, I guess. The surface is cleaned up. Now you don't want to use sandpaper or anything like that on this because you don't want to, you don't want to screw it up. You don't want to make the diameter any bigger. Or, you, know, you don't want to rough it up or anything. trash out of it. I'll make sure there's any dirt in there or anything. Now let me tell you, I cleaned this diff and I cleaned it and I cleaned it and I even put it in the kitchen sink. The old lady didn't like that very much, but I didn't make that big of a mess. I cleaned most of it outside. Just took it in for the final clean, trying to get most of the dirt out of it. You don't ever do that? <laughs> Put your parts in the kitchen sink. Ah. Well, I got most of that stuff off. I'm just gonna psh, psh, right over it. I'm not doing a factory rebuild here. Out. I'll tell you what my wife really loves. It's the old uh, smell of diff fluid. Y'all ever smell it? Ah, that stuff is strong. That's all you can smell in here. Alright. So, I got that clean. Let me find my kit. I got the... Uh, press kit. I got the uh, seals in the freezer. Don't need 
valve spring compressor. I probably should write on this one if this is it. There it is. A seal press kit. So I have to get that little one. in there already. Do a little lube around it. A lube around the seal. Well, she's just going to... Oh, right, damn it. sideways but she'll pop down in there. Yeah there she goes. Okay. She is in there. I'll probably put it in a little too far but you know that's gonna have to do I guess. Alright let's see. Now for this guy. These look like they're the same size. on that. Freeze them up so they shrink up a little bit. I mean, they've only been there. It's not like they got a hard freeze on them. Same thing with bearings. Makes them easier to go in. No, I didn't uh, not lube that. There she goes. I'm going to give it a whack. Watch your ears. Make sure she's seated down in there. She appears to be. Good. That seal in, she looks alright. Yeah, that just get WD 40 all over it. That's gonna be fun to degrees. Yeah, let's get this one. These are old seals in the trash. Get a little lube on this guy. Start to reassemble the sucker. Just reverse order, but you didn't see me take out this piece, so you're gonna see that go back in. Stay tuned. Otherwise, it's just uh, like I said, reverse order. Oh yeah, I might have seen me take out a couple other things too. Took out the. That deal. Okay. Oh, Dang, damn it. Oh, no, no, no. Tear up the seal. Got a little bigger one. Tear it up. 
made. Where's this? This is what I made. Now, I'm going to have to pull it back out. That got it. Oh, I don't pop a hole in it. Let's see. There we go. From the side. Cheers. My goodness, you don't want to go in there. Does not want to go in. Here's the big ones coming out. Get on there. Wow. What gives, dog? There she goes. Now she's in there. Yes, sir, Bob. All the way in. All right. Yeah, she's in there. Good and tight. Okay. Put my tools back up. I'm a mess, everyone. First, I've already lubed up the bearings with some royal purple I've had for a hundred years. I'm probably gonna need that now I put it up. Uh, so, first of all, we got this shim. And this this one's got a black ring and it's kind of cupped, which goes like that. I say that. This one, yeah, a little bit, slightly cut. That one goes like that. We're just gonna drop her in there. We're just gonna drop her in there. Like that. And this one is also beveled. You can see it's chamfered on this side. And before I clean this up, you could see. I don't know, you still can. So you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but the wear ring is on the outside and the inside is real shiny. So because this is beveled, it's only touching on the outside, so that's one way to tell which way that one goes. Okay, so we got that. Then we got this piece, so this will be interesting. So which one of these goes in first? Let me clean that up. Shiny. That way it's sure to leak since it's the original gasket. Okay, so remember nipple side up. 
like that. And this guy, which I just, just wiped off and set back down, collected some garbage on it. And this guy goes right around it. It's really a big O ring, is all it is. See how she fits real quick. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that's quite right. Well, I mean, that's how you have to put it on because. So you're gonna do it. Like I said, I should have put this all up. It's all nice and slick, like. Super slick. Okay. So now do we take a screwdriver and mash it down in there? Yep, that's what we do. Okay. That seems to be working pretty good. I wish I had something a little smoother. Something a little smoother. Let's try this old credit card. Mash it down in there. Well, that's making it. Oblong. So I guess we're just gonna do this. I mean, I would think putting a case cover on would do this, but and maybe if we just get it down with some points there, it will. screwing up. Oh, no. I'm going to be able to get that back out. Shim back on. Yeah. 
Okay. Nipple side up. And we're just gonna lay it on there. Really? Is this how we're gonna do today? Don't tell me that. Now nah, it's stuck on there. Oh, I'm just not having good luck with this dip. surface. Now it's stuck. Now I'm getting frustrated. Give me a second. Okay. Snap back on there. Uh, Alright. So, again, that chamfer side goes down. side goes down. Oh, don't give me heck again. Okay. Wipe this off for the 1400th time. see what's this thing here which I guess is a ground pops in there polished up that end there's a little o-ring that goes right there but there's a washer and an e-clip so the washer nope I'm sorry the ring goes on it. Get the dust off of it there. The o ring goes down over it. Like that. And then it goes in there. And that's what creates the seal. Alright. And then you get this washer. And this E clip pops on there. Let's make sure she's on. Yep, that's on. And my thing popped off again. Did y'all see that while well, I wasn't paying attention? Maybe I shouldn't have lubed it up, huh? Too late now. I'm gonna have to go wash it. as it's rolling. There. Keep it from rolling. Okay, so that's on. Now we need to put this back together. real quick. Okay, I got my parts cleaned up, got me a little charge back on uh, the camera. So we're going to go ahead and put this back together, it's just simple. Uh, put a little oil on this, probably should have put a little oil on that. There, now it's got oil on it. So. This just slides in here like so. What? 
The seal feels pretty good. Yeah, yeah. A little more on there. Hope I help that seal. Okay, so that slides in there like that. And then you got your clamp. Now this thing, I don't. You probably not gonna be able to tell, but it's really sharp on one edge and rolled on the other. So that sharp edge needs to go up, and it just drops down in there. And be wearing safety goggles or at least some glasses when you're doing this. If that thing flies out, you're gonna lose an eye. All right, so that goes in there like that. Uh, your spring. Well, let's do this side. Got that together. I'll go ahead and put a little oil on this. A little more so hopefully it slides down on there properly. Okay, so now we need this. Got this fork. And I can actually see a wear ring in there. You're not gonna be able to see it. But the wear goes down like that. We're gonna go ahead and put that. Yeah, go ahead and Go ahead and get these teeth too. Now, right, how does this go back together? Goes like that. Yes, because this is the front of the diff plug. Okay. So, that means this piece right here. Goes like this. Put some oil around this. Slide this spring over it. Put a little oil in here. I wish I had this seal, but I don't. <clears throat> and this. What am I doing? This goes over here. <laughs> oh, you know what? I never looked at that. Pretty sure it goes like that, though. Get on there. What? And tarnation. Yeah, okay. So this goes in that hole. That all lubed up real good. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that goes like that. Move it. Slide that down on there. And I went ahead, like I said, buzzed up my bolts, got them all nice and clean. specs are on this. So what we're going to do is just go in the star pattern and give them a little ugga dugga. A little hand tighten them I guess. Press down on it. Give it a little snug at first.
so. Seems pretty good, pretty good. that on there. And let's go ahead and stand it up. Well, let's go ahead and lean it this way. This little spring right here goes down here. This needs to be looby dooby. Push rod would have been here, would have been here. And this guy goes goes like. Yeah, it goes like that. And then this, oh, I guess I'm do it goes in here. This this rod here goes in there. But I probably should put this gasket on first. So let's go ahead and wipe it now. Get all the grit and grime off of it. Hopefully. Okay, how does that go? It goes like that, right? So it doesn't go like that, so it goes like that. Don't that'll fall out, so don't lose that. Your little guide pin. Okay, I'm not gonna put any RTV on it. Get that on there. We can't get it to mate up. Maybe I should put it together like that. Maybe that's how it goes together. This out of the way. So I'll put this on first. Yeah, there's your spring. So that's what engages it. So when it's detented like that, it's down. And when you release it, it comes up and it locks into those splines. Look at me like I know what I'm talking about. But yeah, that's that's how it should work. So when we put this on, we should take this. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have to hold her straight up for this. Uh -huh, don't tear up the gasket. Probably could put some RTV on there, but I'm not going to. Ah, no.
just to hold it. Okay, there we go. Perfectly centered up here. That's good. That is the one that had some trash in it, apparently. see it turning in there we are push it down should just spin freely lock up spin freely lock up spin freely all right man we're getting somewhere now i'm gonna have to fill a spray bottle full of lacquer thinner so i can hang this in the tree and degrease and let it drip i guess got the plug this is made out of plastic so you gotta be careful of it right here I am going to put a little bind on it for when I paint it if I can find a 17 millimeter it's over there on the floor I'm sure of it or not on the floor but on my cart Just get a little snug up so we can paint it Get my 8mm. Alright, you got two different plugs here. You got one with a tip and one with a flat. The tip on this one was in here. So, yours may be different. I don't know. Alright, this one may have been taken out. I'm putting it on hold, but I don't really see that happening. And then your bottom one goes over here. I said I'll have to get uh, some spray and clean this diff off, some acetone or something, paint thinner, same difference really. It's not as strong. I think what I've got is paint thinner anyway. That, just a little snug. And that's it guys, that's how you uh, rebuild a diff. So, this video was helpful to you at all, which it should, doing that little trick with the, with the, uh, dental picks. Man, I, I never thought I was going to get that out of there, but that helped. So anyway, guys, if you like this video, if it's all helpful, at all helpful, uh, please like and subscribe and leave a comment if you like. Uh, I really do appreciate your thumbs up my videos and liking my videos. Uh, and if you want, just leave a comment. I'm going to clean up all these A-arms and stuff and spray paint them. So if y'all want to see that, let me know in the comments. If not, I'm just going to do it. I know that's probably be a boring process. Nobody wants to watch that. Uh, as a matter of fact, you know what? I don't want to make a video. <laughs> so I'm not going to. Because that's a lot of, that's just, that would take a lot to shoot. So I'll just show you the before and after maybe. So that's it. Thanks, guys.